In this step, we want to add zoom in and zoom out animation when we click the 3D widget icon. And we will keep the top pawn location updated while zoom animation. Let's close all blueprint window first. On content folder, open the configurator folder, blueprint folder, POA folder, open the POI widget one. If we click on this button, we want to do zoom in animation to the focused object. Select the button and on detail panel, scroll down to events area. Click the plus button to add on click event. From the input, hold and drag the wire to look for print string node. In this print, I put check. Press compile and do quick test. If we click the 3D widget button, we can see the print text. Now just delay the text input first. Next, open the POI pound 1. Make sure to select default scene road. Click the add button and look for spring arm. The spring arm is selected. Add a new camera, so the camera will be a root of the spring arm. Select spring arm component. On the detail panels, change the target arm length to 1000. Enable use pound control rotation. Then enable camera rotation leg. Open the POI widget. From the print string pin, drag the wire and look for get all actor of class. And we need to target the POI pound 1. From out of actor, drag the wire and look for for each loop and connect the input. From array element, drag the wire and look for process under pound. On the process node, from the target input, drag the wire and look for get player controller. So basically, when we click this 3D widget button, it will fire the process event to the POI pound 1. Let's do a quick test. As we can see, if I click the button, we move from top pound to the POI pound. But right now, we cannot do rotation and look around because we haven't added any function yet. Go back to the 3D environment first and select the POI pound 1. On the detail panel, select spring arm and change the length also change the rotation as you want. Do a quick test again.
Now the camera length and rotations much more better and closer to the object. Next, we need to add rotation function to this pawn. Under Content folder, open the top pawn blueprint. We need to copy this input system. Make a region selection. And right click on it and select copy. Go back to POI pound and press Ctrl V to paste the code. Just remove the middle node, we do not use it. When we compile, we go to errors. Let's fix it by creating two variables. Go back to top pound and copy the variable name pitch limit mean. On the POI pound one, create a new variable and paste the name on it. Change boolean to float. And adjust the variable details to follow exact detail of the top pound blueprint. Do the same adjustment for the variable of pitch limit max. After we done that, we will not see the error anymore. Let's access the top pound. When we click the icon button, we move to the POI pound and now we can rotate and look around. Next, add zoom transition effect when we process the pound. Go back to POI widget. From the for each loop input, drag the wire and look for set view target with blend. Connect the get by controller to the target input. From array element of for each loop, connect it to new view target. Change the blend type to cube. Change blend time to 0.7. And add delay node from the set view target with blend with value of 0.72. Compile and do a quick test.
it is working perfectly and now we want to reverse it to the top pound using the same animation effect but using tab k let's open poa pound because this is the pound we activate when we click the icon on the empty canvas right click and look for tab keyboard event on the preset input hold and drag the wire and look for get all actor of class And for the actor of class, we will target the top pound. Open the POI widget one and copy these nodes. And paste it in POI pound one. From out of actor, look for for each loop and connect the input. Loop body, connect it to the target blend mode. Array element, connect it to new view target. Also, connect the array element to process node at the bottom. Compile and do quick test. When we activate the POI pound 1 and we press tab key, it will move us back to the top pound. It is working as expected. Next step is we want to keep the top pound last location updated after we process back from the POI pound 1. Go back to the editor and open Top Pound Blueprint. Select Top Pound Self Component. At the top menu, select Class Settings. Parent class changes to Character, and that's all. Compile and do quick test. Now try to find good view and click the 3D widget. When we press tab, it will return us back to the top pound with updated less location and rotation. Let's test another location. Next step is we want to hide the 3D widget after we process to the POA pound. Open the top pound blueprint. Look for hide POE custom node we created before and copy its name. Open POI widget 1. Open the on-click event. Let's add sequence node. From the second pin, drag out and look for get all actor of class and we will target the top pound. From out of actor, look for for each loop.
from array element drag out and paste the custom node name connect the wire press compile and do quick test now when we click the 3d widget we process it to poa pound and the icon is not visible next we want to make it visible again when we process back to the top pound open the poa pound one and look for tab keyboard event node add a sequence node Copy the node name from the top pound. From the array element, paste the show POI text and connect it to the second pin of the sequence node. Compile and do quick test. When we activate the POA pound 1 and we press the tab, we will return back to the top pound and the icon widget is now visible. Last step is open the POI widget 1 editor blueprint. Copy the fade out nodes and connect it to the event construct. And change the start time to 0 0.36. This way the 3D widget text animation will always fade out first. And finally, we have done it. See you in the next step, which is to activate the material selection.